Hello, Doris. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm fine. Thanks. All right. I'm glad you connected. You ready for today? Yes. I am ready for the class. <laughs> All right. And tell me, what do you normally do on Friday? Repeat, please. What do you normally do on Fridays? Um, exactly this Friday, I give the boletas, ¿cómo se dice? Boleta de pago o recibo de pago, teacher? Uh, pay slips. Pay slips mm -hmm. to the people in my enterprise. Yes, but that's in your job. But what, what do you do? For example, today you're in English class. What normally on Fridays, what do you do? Friday nights? Mm, I dine uh, with my family mm -hmm. and I talk with my mom. And some days I go to the walk, and for example. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So today, and I sleep very early. <laughs> okay. Okay. So today, uh, no, no dinner with your family. Mm, sorry. Today you didn't have dinner with your family. Yes, but uh, I dinner more early. Earlier. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Earlier. Earlier. Okay, good. Uh -huh. All right, good. All right. Well, that's good. It's good that you didn't lose the activities that you normally do. Uh, I got we got Gino, Luis, and Roxana. How are you guys doing? You guys ready for today also? Yeah, man. We're ready. Yes, I'm ready. Excellent, Roxy. Excellent, Gino. Okay. So as we are ready to begin, um, the first thing we're gonna do, I'm sure, I hope uh, we get more people in a moment, but the first thing is, what are your plans or activities for this weekend? Um, that's number one. The other number two is, do you have any questions, any issues with the platform? Are you complete with lesson one? Lesson one is finished. Any questions, any problems in any of it? Yes, sir, sir I finished. You finished? Yeah. Okay. Section one. Was, uh -huh, Only yeah, section yeah. one. Section one, exactly, exactly. And everything is okay in section one? Yeah, everything is okay. Okay. 100%. Cool. Excellent. All right. Anybody else? Anybody have any problems or issues with section one? No, pretty easy, right? Okay, good. No, no, no. No? All right. Excellent, excellent. Okay, great. So let's take a look at a couple of things. So if there, if number two, there are no issues, what's number one? Number one is, what are your plans? What's going to happen this weekend? It's not going to rain. So what are, what's the new ideas? Luis, go ahead. What are you going to do this weekend? Um, uh, for, for, for tomorrow, for me, for tomorrow began will begin the the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In the morning, I am going to visit the church, and then um, I have to buy something of my house. In the afternoon, maybe I, I will take a rest. Uh, maybe I watch TV. Okay. Or a uh, half for the for the. Uh, the Sunday and the morning is mandatory for me uh, to uh, I, I exercise in the morning. And Sundays. Sunday. Do, no, uh, Sunday in the morning. So, so uh, do you go to the gym? Do you go to the park? Uh, uh, what do you do? Yes. How do you, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if every Sunday, visited the, the park, for example, or the cyclovia and the uh, Constitution Boulevard. Okay. I run in the morning and then come back, uh, I come back to my house. I I will take my lunch and family. Yeah. Okay. In the, in the afternoon, it's okay. mandatory for me to take a rest. I watch TV with my wife. Okay, example. yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah. your, your wife goes with you to Ciclovia? 
No, oh, alone. I am alone. Mm, yeah, I, I, yes, uh, I receive every Sunday invitation, but this weekend my wife, uh, she visit her, her mother. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, the another department different to San Salvador. Okay. But uh -huh. normally your wife goes with you. No. No, never. No. No, no, she, maybe she doesn't like exercise. I okay. don't know. Hey, so that's your, that's like the private time for you. It's the personal time. No, no, yeah. only you, your life. Oh, yeah, in the morning. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, Gino, tell me, what are the plans for this weekend? Oh, for this weekend, uh, after class, I'm going to go to the movies. Uh, yeah, I want to see the new Thor movie. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And, and I have to work tomorrow morning. And after that, I think just like uh, chores in the house. Uh, uh, I, I, I have to buy some stuff so, to do some house improvements and take a rest. I think I might run into Luis on Sunday morning because I was planning to to take my dogs to the to the Ciclovia too. So yeah. I might run into you. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. And, and it's just you and your dog. Uh, I think so because I'm the one that wakes up earlier on Sunday. So <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think maybe it's for, for the men we many times on the weekends is nice we wake up early the time for ourselves we relax comfortably no problems okay all right sounds good um uh, what about you roxy what are you gonna do this weekend well, mm -hmm. uh, i am going to have a typical weekend um i am going to work on on saturday and on Sunday, I am uh, I am going to go to church. And okay. in the morning, in the afternoon, I uh, I watch TV with my mom. Only that. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. And do you and your mom have like a special program or movies that you like to watch? Oh. Um, I, uh, my mom like to watch uh, soap operas, mm -hmm. Turkey. Turkey. Oh, the the yeah. from the country. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the, it would be Turkish, Turkish, Turkish. soap opera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Turkish soap operas. Wow, that's uh, that's not normal. I gotta or, say, or or some Victorians. movies or or some or on YouTube mm -hmm. or some movies uh, uh Russia Russian movies okay I like <laughs> your mom is very different and most people most Salvadorian moms like Betty La Fea or you know <laughs> El, El Paraíso or some you know some crazy stuff like that Mm -hmm. Yeah, Russian movies, uh, they are very interesting. They leave a message in, about the about uh, common problems uh, between couples, uh, about, uh, uh, I don't know, how can I say? Um, uh, about every uh, about life okay okay i thought russian movies would be more like violent or you know mafias or or something like no, that no 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 it's about daily life okay all right well good yeah all right well guys as you can see we have the idea you get it we ask several questions you're going on with your partner you're discussing um i'm also going to share with you to help you out because i want you i want you to be able to speak about many topics today um so today's our main focus is developing the speaking you're going to have two links link number one and then link number two 
it's going to give you lots of lots of topics to talk about for me is you can talk about any topic the important is not the topic the important is that you have good pronunciation good vocabulary correct grammar that is the most important so if you look in the chat you will find the two topics that you have Do you have the two links? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. So with those two links, we're gonna make our groups and we're gonna talk. I'll give you a few minutes. After that, you're gonna come back and you're going to paraphrase or you're going to retell what your partner said, okay? So pay attention to your partner, no, no ignore your partner. No, 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 I, I, no me acuerdo. Imagine this is a job. Imagine it's a job. How are you going to tell the boss? No, no, me acuerdo. The report. No, 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 no. Pay attention. The boss is going to say. So pay attention to your partner and then come back and tell us what they said. That's when we're going to practice using the third person to make sure that you can describe other people as well and what they say. Any questions before we begin? Uh, I have a doubt about the link where we first when we watch the link uh, or i don't know the links have questions so it's important you open the link because then you're going to have many questions and then you and your partner you select any topic that you want to talk about um, okay so if you open the topic then you see or if you open the link then you say oh I want to talk about adoption. I want to talk about the beach. I want to talk about uh, lifestyles, health. Right? You have many topics there to help you to make it easier for you to create your questions. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's make sure we are with our partners and let's go for it.
Hey, Mirna, I'll send you to the group. That way you can participate. Hey, Rodrigo, I'll send you to the group.
All right. So let's take a look. What did you learn about your partners? What, what was your topic, your discussion? How do you feel about it? Tell me, what did you and your partners decide on? Oh, uh, can I go first, teacher? Yeah, go ahead, Gino. Okay, so I was talking at first with Omi and then Mirna like joined the, the, the conversation. Uh, we, we started talking about celebrities, yeah? And Omi told me that she, she wanted to meet like, uh, uh, she, she has never met a celebrity before, but she would like to meet Johnny Depp, yeah? Mm. Uh, we, we both agree that he's very char charismatic. So it would be like a really nice, uh, famous person to meet. And afterwards, we were talking with Mirna, and uh, she told me that she would like to meet uh, also like a, a famous uh, actor or actress like Brad Pitt, Scarlett Johansson, Angelina Jolie. And afterwards, we were talking like more about life a little bit, you know, children, uh, stuff like that. All right. Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Especially Johnny Depp that's been a, it was uh, accused recently and in the news, very famous um, lady. Yeah the, the, yeah. the famous trial and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, Omi, anything else to add? Uh, but, but, by the way, Omi is having trouble with the with the microphone, so ah, so we, okay. we, we were chatting instead of talking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Mirna. Anything else to add? Hello, teacher. How hey, are Mirna. You? I was talking with Gino Caballero, and she to he told me that he likes. Uh, Johnny Depp is a good actor. Mm -hmm. And anything else to add from what Gino said? Uh, we, we about his family. Uh huh. Tell me what what did you learn about this family? I don't remember more information. Ah, it's about the first it. thing that I said. The first thing. Then you. Sometimes I have that that I I am worried about what I have to say that I forgot listen to the other ah. person. Uh huh. You don't listen. I, I don't listen to Gina. I have no, to. Think. I have to think. I know Gino. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gino. And then. Uh -huh. No, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> the other time I will take no. <laughs> uh -huh. there you go okay. that's what that's what happens that's what happened no, it's okay Mirna, no. no problem no problem Mirna. Okay, it so happens it's normal it's normal when you are nervous and you are thinking ah, i have to say what i have to say. and then you when you are thinking you forget to pay attention it's okay too. don't worry Mirna. it happens to everyone all right let's take a look at somebody else all right i think we had ivania rodrigo and roxana they were together uh in a group Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So tell us what, what happened. Okay. I, um, uh, we were talking about, um, first we were talking about um, our plans to the future, our future plans. So Roxana says that she wants to be a teacher. She was uh, studying uh, for at the university, but then uh, she have to take a break. So she wants to be a teacher in the future. She wants to to complete it. That. Uh, achievement in in her life so uh, then we change the topic and we talk about uh, food Roxana says that uh, his favorite her favorite food is Chinese Chinese food and she didn't remember the name of the of the place 
that he loves the that she loves the the food the Tashani food, but uh, she mentioned that uh, she went to her uh, her sister, and then we talk about the lunch, and he and she says that she used to to eat. Uh, fry eggs for for breakfast and beans and something like that. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Anything else, Roxana? Anything to add? Oh yeah. About Ivania. Yeah. Uh, she she would like to to live in in abroad in the United States and because her mom and her sister lives, uh, live there. And she likes to eat uh, about food because we talk, talked about food and she said she likes to eat Chinese food too, like me. And um, only that. <laughs> okay, all right, good. All right, and then I think it was Doris and Luis, right? Yes, yes, uh, teacher. I, I don't know if Dori uh, can talk, but because um, we we are talking about uh, the beer, 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 oh beer. Ah, okay, beer. Uh, discuss, uh, we are discuss uh, different kind of questions. For example, uh, um, the first question where uh, do you know how beer is made? For example, but we don't have the, the, the answer. I, I don't know uh, what country uh, made the, the, the beer, but I suppose the Egyptian, but I am not sure. Uh, with the second question, uh, what beer are produced in our country? We have uh, a different kind of beer, Suprema, for example, Pilsener, Golden, uh, Ancadejo. Mm -hmm. Ancadejo, yeah. Um, I, I ask uh, Doris is like the beer, if she likes the beer, but she said she doesn't like the beer. Because oh, okay. uh, uh -huh. another question where uh, how how would you describe the taste of beer? And in the most case of the beer, uh, the taste of our uh, bitter, right? That is correct. That's bitter, that is correct. Amargo. Bitter. Bitter is the word. Beer. Beer. Okay. Thank you. In the most case, uh, the, the beer are are beer, bitter um what more I, I don't know if dory how okay what else doris dory how ha, ha, uh, more conversation about i say to luis that uh, the beer is similar with the coffee i am um, i am not I don't drink uh, beer, but uh -huh. in the coffee, for example, in El Salvador, uh -huh. is the uh, more uh, como mala calidad, bad, bad quality. Quality. Uh -huh. In the other country, the beer. is the best. No, in the coffee. In my case, uh, <laughs> I think it's the same case with the beer. Because uh, Luis, uh, he said me that he prefer uh, a beer of the USA. I don't remember the name of the beer. Okay. Budweiser, for example. This name. <laughs> he prefer this beer and no uh, Pilsener, for example. Okay, okay. Only that. 
because Only that. I don't drink. <laughs> ah, okay, all right. But, no can, can I ask a question? Go ahead, Gino. Doris, you don't drink alcohol like at all, or you, you just don't like beer? Uh, alcohol, I don't drink. So no wine? No, nothing. Okay, <laughs> so because I, 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 I was gonna make a suggestion. If you like wine, I know <laughs> this beer that, that tastes, it's a red beer that tastes a lot, a lot like fruity and a lot, a lot like wine. It's really good. And <laughs> okay. I, I, I have a friend that she doesn't drink like, uh, she doesn't like the taste of beer. But this particular brand, she loves it. So I was going to make a suggestion <laughs> that you should try it. But if you don't drink like alcohol, like at all, it's, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Drink. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Doris, if does, Doris doesn't like wine, maybe Doris I, I, it's, it's very common that people drink wine in the church or something. But okay. That's why many people normally like wine. Uh huh. Many people don't drink beer or alcohol, but yes, they drink wine. Mm -hmm. mm, but I don't drink nothing. <laughs> okay. In this moment. Okay. okay. No problem. No problem. <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. I'm glad that everybody got in there. Um, that's wonderful. We have our ideas for sharing, talking about. That's the idea. In this moment, what we're going to do is we're going to watch a small video. Um, and then we're going to see a topic that we're going to start with next week. But it's important that we get the information today. Okay. So this is beginning unit two. Beginning unit two is going to be relative clauses and noun clauses. Okay. Oops. I don't know why we got this one. Give me a sec. There. So relative clauses and noun clauses are what we're going to watch a video on. Hi, let's keep on talking about relative clauses. This time they can occur in the subject or the object of the sentence. Stay around and listen to the explanation. Relative clauses and noun clauses. A relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence. Something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. The thing that I can't stand is co-workers who leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. The thing I can't stand is co-workers that leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. Some sentences use a relative clause and a noun clause beginning with a question word such as when. The thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. What is a relative clause or adjective clause? Relative or adjective clauses provide information about a noun or pronoun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. Relative clauses, use. Relative or adjective clauses give additional information about a noun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. They are dependent clauses. Relative clauses help connect two separate ideas. For example, that is the school. I went to that school as a boy. That is the school which I went to as a boy. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns introduce relative clauses. Relative clauses tell us which person or thing the speaker means or refers to. Who is the subject, whom the object, meaning people. Which, whose, refers to things. That, instead of who, whom or which, where, when, and why, gives the reason why. They are relative adverbs. Remember, the pronoun refers to the same thing as the relative pronoun. Example, the students are smart. They are learning relative clauses. The students who are learning relative clauses are smart. 
who is used instead of they. Let's go over this example. One thing that I hate is people who talk during a movie. One thing is the subject of the main clause. Leaving us with that I hate is the relative clause that describes the subject. Noun clauses. A noun clause is a sentence inside a sentence. A noun clause gives more detailed description of a subject or object of a sentence. Let's take a look at these words. They are noun clause markers or connectors. That, if, whether, wh words, how, what, when, where, which, who, whom, whose, why. WH ever words, however, whatever, whenever, wherever, whichever, whoever, which is informal, and whomever, which is formal. We want you to note, except for that, noun clause markers cannot be omitted. Only that can be omitted, but it can be omitted only if it is not the first word in a sentence. Let's take a look at these sentences. Subject, noun clauses. Noun clauses are subjects of verbs. That George learned how to swim is a miracle. Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain. What Mary said confused her parents. However you learn to spell is okay with me. Notice the structure. Subject noun clause plus verb plus object. Object noun clauses. Noun clauses as objects of verbs. We didn't know the bill would jump. Can you tell me if Fred is here? I don't know where he is. George eats whatever is on his plate. Again, notice the structure. Subject plus a verb plus object noun clause. Read this sentence with me. One thing that bugs me is when people talk during a movie. Let's work with this sentence. There are two clauses in this sentence. The bugs me is a relative clause. And when people talk during a movie is a noun clause. Now type examples using relative clauses in the subject and in the object of a sentence. Okay, as I mentioned, Who? the video was fairly long and a lot of information. What is the most important thing? Yes, there's a lot of grammar, a lot of technical, but the most important is remember that it's just extra information. It's just information to describe the thing. So always you talk about your emotions, your feelings. For example, here, something, okay, that bugs me, okay? Something I can't stand, something I hate, something that bothers me. All of these can be changed for the same thing, the thing that bugs me, the thing I can't stand, the thing. All of these can be changed. All it is is your opinion about a topic, okay? What do you love about it, Salvador? Ah, something I love, perfect. And then give the description, what? Okay, one thing I hate, what? This is the idea. All of this answer the question, what? It sounds complicated, but the more you practice it, the easier it is. It's only about making sure that you include expa uh, examples or extra information. That's it, okay? What do you like about your house? What do you like about your job? Why do you like English? That's it. Only you give your opinion. You like, you don't like, you hate, you can't stand. Any emotions goes here with the thing and then the specific, the details. That's what happens in the second part. So the thing that I hate, what? And then the specific, what do you hate? Uh, one thing that bothers me, what? What bothers you? So all of these answer the question of what, okay? We can use many different words in order to connect them, like all of the ones that are here. And then of course, the ones that are in the chat, Okay, but it's really this. We didn't know. Hey, what didn't you know? Okay, that Billy would jump. Can you tell me what? 
What do you want me to tell you? You don't know. Ah, you don't know what? George eats. What does George eat? So as you can see, the idea is fairly simple. Only give the answer what. So imagine I tell Luis, Luis, I love to cook. Huh? Cook what? What do you love to cook? Ah, that is the grammar. I love to cook lasagna with garlic bread. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Ah, Luis, do you like beer? Ah, yes. Something I love is a cold beer in the beach on a hot day with a nice uh, seafood soup. Ah. My lunch can be big, huge, or the sentence can be small, but it's only explain what. Yes? Okay. So in this moment, we are going to try to use it. Try to use it. What do you love? What do you like? Hey, what, what do you enjoy? What do you hate? What can't you stand about your life, about your job, about your weekends, about your nights, anything? For example, for me, one thing that I love about Marvel movies is that they always have extra credits at the end. I always, I always stay, I always like to watch the extra credits. It's for me. Now you give your opinion and your expression about any topic of what you think. Remember, your opinion, I love, I hate, I can't stand, and then answer the question, what? It's okay? Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay? All right. Let's try one more time then. Hang on. Mm. Let's see. We don't want to take too much time. Let's go.
Okay, let's take a look. What are some of the things that you talked about? What was the thing you like, you love, you hate? Tell me, whatever it is. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, we were talking with Rodrigo about football. And he's a Barcelona fan and I'm a Real Madrid fan. So we are kind of rivals, but it's okay. It, it, we're, we're like normal fans. We're not crazy fans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what did you tell him? What's something uh, that you love? What's something that you love about Barcelona? I, I, I'm, a, I'm a Madrid fan, but I, have, I, I, I recognize that uh, for a long time, Barcelona was much better than Madrid. But you, you have to be like uh, objective and, and, and be able to recognize when the other team is much better. Okay. But, in the, in the last few years, Madrid has like stopped, stepped up, stepped up a notch, but we'll we'll see next year. All right, all right, that's good, that's great, that's the idea. Something that I love um, is watching soccer, watching you know, uh, watching Barcelona, watching Madrid. That's the idea. That's how you use it to describe your emotions. All right, Mirna, tell me, tell me something that you said. Hello, teacher. I was talking with Luis Molina. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that, uh, I think that I can, I can stand it when I write to someone and the other person leave, leave me and see when I write a message in WhatsApp or Gmail or Facebook. Uh, and they don't respond. Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. You say, and, you have a cell phone and you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's like the other person maybe is, is not important for the other person. Yeah. But you are writing. writing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. And, and with Liz, uh, we are talking about also uh, when people describe about they they watch the cell phone while they are uh, driving mm -hmm. and cause a lot of accidents. That too, yes. yes. yes, yes. It's, it's the main cause of the accident in Salvo, I think. Mm -hmm. It's true, it's true. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much. I know it's Friday and you have many things that you like to do and relax. But I thank you for connecting. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy your weekend. I see you on Mondays. Okay, see you on Monday, guys. Bye. Bye, -bye. See have, you. Have enjoy the weekend. weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. You too.